Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Previously on Oh Wow Moments. We began our exploration of electric circuits by building a simple electric circuit and identifying each of the four parts. The source, the load, the path, and the switch. We applied this to our circuits component. Then one of my assistants asked a key question. How does the electricity actually power the device? Well, that's actually kind of complicated. In order to understand it, we first have to talk about charge. Most metals, like copper wire, are conductors, meaning electricity can move through them. They do this because they can carry charge, particles that have electrical energy. Electrical energy has two main characteristics, voltage and current, both of which relate back to charge. Let's start with current. Current is how much charge we have flowing through a circuit. To think of it another way, let's assume these marbles are charged. So right now we have a certain number of marbles rolling down this ramp per second. That's our current. But if we add in more charge, then our current increases. The other key characteristic is voltage. Voltage can be thought of as a pressure behind the movement of the charge. So if we go back to our marble analogy, here you see the marbles moving slowly, not a lot of movement. That's low voltage. But if they get more pressure and start moving faster, that's high voltage. So it is voltage, the pressure making the charge move, and current, how much charge is moving, that determines electrical power. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. So this is a voltmeter used to measure voltage, and this is an ammeter which is used to measure current. Can I hook these to our circuit, change out the power source, and see what happens? It's like she's reading from a script. So, when we put these together, the current and the voltage doubled. But when I switched it out for this power source, the current didn't change, but the voltage tripled. Exactly. Voltage and current are very important to each other, but they're not dependent on each other. You can have a lot of voltage and very little current, or you can have very little voltage and a lot of current. So, what happens when we add more loads? Well... Next time, we explore voltage and current in a series circuit. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.